Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Maradena And today I would like to share a video about the structure of our kidney Hope you guys enjoy this video So, before we go through this video I would like to ask you guys Did you aware that our kidney have the same shape like the bean? Yes, the kidneys are a pair of bean-shaped organs on either side of your spine, below your ribs and behind your belly. Each kidney is about 4 or 5 inch long, roughly the size of a large fist. Let us continue with the kidney's job. The function of the kidneys. First, it cleans the blood. By removing metabolic waste, excess solutes such as salts or glucose, and also excess water, and then they will excrete them as urine. Also, it will maintain homeostasis in blood solute concentration. The kidneys are surrounded by a fibrous capsule. As you can see, there is an adrenal gland, also a fibrous tissue, the renal pelvis, the fat layer, and also ureter. This kidney consists of two distinct layers, as you can see, the cortex and the medulla. The renal artery branches inside kidney. Each capillary supplies blood to hundreds of thousands of tiny filtration units called nephrons. The renal artery supplies oxygenated blood and nutrients to the kidney, while the renal vein carries away filtered blood to the body and urine formed in the kidney drains into the renal pelvis. We continue with the nephron. Each nephron is made up of the Bowman's capsule, glomerulus, proximal and distal convoluted tubules, loop of Henle, the collecting duct and also the vasorector. The production of urine carried out by the nephron involves three processes which is first Ultrafiltration, reabsorption, and also secretion. Ultrafiltration involves the Bowman's capsule and the glomerulus. Blood from the afferent artery, which is from the renal artery, will enter the glomerulus with a higher pressure, which is maintained by the bigger diameter of the afferent artery compared to the afferent artery. For reabsorption, useful substances like water, glucose, amino acids, sodium, and chloride ions are reabsorbed at the different parts of the tubule into the blood capillaries by osmosis or active transport. In secretion, only 20% of the blood plasma is filtered, hence there are still waste products in the blood plasma in the afferent artery. The secretion process, which is by passive diffusion or active transport, helps to remove the substance from the capillaries into the renal tubules, which is just a convoluted tubule and collecting duct. Substance secreted are ions like hydrogen, potassium, and ammonium, and urea, creatine, drugs, and toxin. So here is some notes for you guys and I hope that this video might be useful. That is all from me and thank you for watching.